right, I've just been handed at a new case, uh, broke and enter. Uh, we've got three witnesses in interview room two. Uh, let's go in and uh, check it out. Good afternoon, Bears. I'm Detective Ribbit. Now, can you run me through the events of earlier today? I'm about to have breakfast, but my porridge was too hot, so I decided we should all go for a walk. That's right. Uh, then what? We're gone for about an hour or so. Uh, what time did you leave? Around 8 o'clock. When we got home, the front door was wide open. I'm sure I locked it. No, you didn't. You said to leave it open to let Puss in Boots out. We went into the dining room to eat breakfast, but someone had been eating it. Dad was fuming, and the guts had eaten all of mine. So I went back into the kitchen to make some more. Baby Bear and I began searching the house. In the lounge room, someone had sat in all of the chairs, and the fat pig had broken mine. How did this make you feel? Man, I saw red. Whoever this was was going to feel a world of pain. So we searched the house. Upstairs in the bedrooms, someone had been sleeping in the beds, and someone was still asleep in mine. Then what happened? Dad went sick. He roared at her, and she got so scared, she bailed out the closed second story window. Did you get a good look at her? Sure did. Around five foot, and frizzly golden hair. Looks like she twisted her ankle too. Fine, thank you. We've pretty much got all we need now. We'll be in touch. Sergeant Pinocchio, go round up some suspects. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you, bad girl, bad girl? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when Sergeant Pinocchio catches you? Okay, thanks for coming back in, Bears. Can someone wake up Sleeping Beauty? I'm awake! I'm awake! Uh, right then, um, can you see the perpetrator? Number three! Number three, step forward. Is that her? Sure is. I'm positive. I'm Detective Ribbit. For the purposes of this, of this investigation, I must inform you this interview is being recorded. So, Goldilocks, I noticed you limping as you walked in. How did you hurt your ankle? I was playing one-on-one -on -one basketball with Snow White. Uh, should I give her a call to check your story? It's up to you. It would be easier to tell the truth. You can't handle the truth! Fine. Okay. I got lost last night in the Enchanted Forest. Been wandering aimlessly for hours. Then what? Well, I was hungry and tired and I smelled something really yummy. So I followed my nose until I found a house. So you just went in? No, I recognise the place. Three bears live there. Okay, then what? Well, I saw them leave, you know, out for their morning walk. So you broke in then? No, they left the door wide open. So I went in and just ate some porridge. The bears say you broke some furniture and a window. That chair was already like that. And I was tired, so I decided to have a little nap. When I woke up, I thought that Papa Bear was going to eat me. So I got the hell out of there ASAP! Goldilocks, at this time, I must advise you that you are under arrest on two charges for breaking and entering and malicious damage to property. You have the right to remain silent and anything you say can and will be used against you in court. Sergeant Pinocchio, please handcuff the prisoner. You do when they come for you, bad girl, bad girl. What you gonna do? Now it's off to the lockup for you. Good evening and welcome to Fairy Tale News. In late breaking Fairy Tale News, Goldilocks has been arrested for breaking and entering and malicious damage to property. In other news, two of the three little pigs have been found guilty of serious breaches of the building regulations when constructing houses from unsafe building materials. This has been the Big Bad Wolf saying goodnight and may you all live happily ever after. <laughs>